Okay, our friend Sonny is going home soon. He's graduating from puppy training. And so we want to see uh, just how good he does his basic commands. And let's see. Down. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, stay. Come. A good boy. One of his weaknesses uh, was that he doesn't stay uh, too long, so we were working on that. Stay. Come. Very good, Sonny. Very good, Sonny. Okay, now I'm going to turn him around. Okay. Yes, you're doing just fine, Sonny. You're doing just fine. Okay, Sonny, sit. A good boy. Okay, stay. Come. See, that's about the limits of his uh, concentration. But as you practice, days become weeks, and then that concentration gets stronger. Stay. Come. Very good, very good. Good boy, good boy. Okay. What, you want one, Paisley? You want a treat? Okay, Paisley, here you go. Good girl, do you like it? Okay. Okay, boy, sit. A good boy. Okay, down. A good boy. Okay, stay. Come. Very good, Sonny. Very good. Let me get some more treats. You're very good. You're a very smart boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Stay. Come. Very good, Sonny. Very good. Very good. See, he's a little uh, timid as his nature. So... I don't ever want to startle him. Sometimes, if I have to be firm, but I'm in a soothing voice, I still have to keep him out of harm's way. And also, if he does screw up and chew up something, which he has not done, but I'm using an example, but I would have to uh, uh, correct him, but not to frighten him, because trust is uh, easy to uh, lose in the dog, and fear is his main um, uh, challenge, so I don't want to make him afraid of me. So even if I say, no, no, right, then, uh, then immediately afterwards, I'm like, hey, buddy, you know, we're buddies, you know. So I want to make a strong uh, bond of trust and friendship with him because he's a little fearful. Stay. Come. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Now, uh, I want to mention on a side note that normally when I have lots of dogs, I keep this barn door closed, right? The dogs are stay over there, but I only have two today, so he gets the full access. And um, I trust him. We eat here at our dinner table, and he does not interfere. He doesn't bother us. He's... Um, he has to learn your house rules when he gets home, what's not appropriate, but I don't leave like shoes and stuff on the ground. He has his own chew toys over here, which is his, this is what he chews on. He's allowed to chew them and he loves his chew toys. Don't you, don't you boy, don't you, yes. And um, to keep him out of somewhere, I just use the baby gates. So if you're having issues with him, uh, that's also a great timeout. So like if he was bothering one of your children, let's say, with a little rough play, you would scold him, put him on the other side of the baby gate, and that would be, um, you know, five minutes or so, he would understand, and he would also calm down in that time. So um, I use another baby gate here to keep him out of the upstairs area, and he respects it. This baby gate is just a symbol. It's not even hooked up, so it's just a symbol of uh, you know, he can't go in there and he respects that totally sit Good boy. Good boy. Okay Okay, sit stay
come. You did very good. Yes, you did. You're a very smart dog. Yes, you are. You're very smart. You're very smart. Sit for me. Sit. Good boy. That's a good boy.